Western Australia is one of the most intimidating waves in the world. When I get online to check a swell forecast and I see that there is a big swell headed there in a week's time, my anxiety levels go through the roof. It's like someone switches on a TV in the back of my skull that's playing a constant stream of all the terrifying wipeouts that might happen when I go down to surf. If I spend too much time watching that TV in the lead up to surfing, I end up turning up on the day of the swell physically exhausted. It feels like my body has gone through a thousand wipeouts before I even put a foot in the water. Dwelling on a scary thought for too long makes your body have a negative emotional reaction. And it's that negative emotion that drains your body of its physical energy. The key for me is to find out a way to turn down the volume of that TV in the back of my head so that I don't get over anxious and drained of all that physical energy. I've come across a lot of different mindfulness and cognitive based therapy techniques out there that are reasonably effective for managing stress. But for me, the more important factor and what works way better than all those techniques is preparation. Not just preparing for the perfect performance, but preparing for the worst case scenarios. I've come to realize that that TV in the back of my head is just my brain's way of trying to subconsciously formulate some sort of safety plan and prepare for what's going to happen in the future. Either that or it's, it's trying to persuade me not to do what I'm going to do. The best way to turn down the volume on that TV and to minimize the stress and anxiety associated with it is by giving my brain exactly what it needs. Giving it a plan for those worst case scenarios so that it can relax in the present moment. When my team and I prepare for worst case scenarios, we always use the language when rather than what if. What if this happens or what if this happens? When you use that language, it just seems to create a little bit more ambiguity and, and uncertainty, which then creates more stress and stops you from adequately preparing. On the other hand, using when creates more specificity around what may happen. That way you can prepare better for that moment. So for example, when Mark blacks out underwater, this is what we are going to do. See how much more specific and real that is? That sort of specific language motivates the whole team to formulate an exact plan of what we are going to do when that worst case scenario plays out. So first things first, when we're surfing the right, we need to figure out exactly where the best place is going to be to administer first aid. Who is going to do it and who is going to be the one to call for help. We find out exactly how long additional medical support is going to take to arrive and where the best emergency extraction points are going to be. With all the latest safety equipment, most of these worst case scenarios are extremely unlikely. But being prepared stops me from dwelling on the possibility of them happening. That helps me to relax in the lead up to a big swell and it helps me to perform better on the day and it helps me to maintain my composure when I do wipe out. I use the exact same process for other situations that make me nervous as well. Like delivering a keynote. I'm always nervous when I'm on stage that my mind will go blank and I'll freeze up in front of the audience. So what I do to prepare for that worst case scenario is I leave a note on the ground in front of me and that note has a question on it that at any time I can ask to the audience. That way if I freeze up and my mind goes blank, I can look down, ask the audience that question and ask them to discuss it with the person next to them. That way I get time to gather my thoughts and to fix any other problems that I might be having. When you consciously prepare for the worst case scenario, you turn the volume down on that TV 
and you allow your subconscious to relax and stop stressing you out. That way you get to turn up on the day of your performance in the best possible shape to perform.